Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is, I believe, the twelfth video in the series, and the video uh, we did before, because um, number eleven was on updating Go, so number ten was on sessions, and I believe we got sessions to work all the way through. Uh, quick note before we continue um, on with this video series, um, it's been, I believe, about two months or so. I think it's about two months since I made my last video, and I'm working on non-Go projects, so might still be a little bit. Uh, um, Shaking on syntax and whatnot, because the stuff I'm working on isn't Go related at all. Um, anyway, so let's uh, continue on with the video. So first off, last time we were here, we had a user that we set up, and that user, I believe, let me think, did we actually, I can't remember if we actually credited that video, uh, that that, uh, that uh, user here. Um, let's see. Okay, so we'll go in here like so. Oops. Um, Tesh. Oops. Select star from users. Nothing. Explain users. Okay, so and we were using. Okay, so we got. We have to actually run that test real quick. Let's do it. Okay, so CD API. Oh, we're already on that CD API. Um, test. Password, go, test. Okay, so we can use that auto-generated password. Insert into. Just a second. Hey guys, um, my son asked a question. I just need to answer him real quick. Insert into users. So uh, first, last email. Password. Oops. I probably should automate this. Um, password values. Let's say we'll just use my name, Nick um, Kutenberg. Email. We'll just do Nick at mail.com. And then password. There we go. Uh, select star from users. Okay. So I should be able to just do. And what was the pet? That was just. That was just test. Okay. So Nick at mail.com. Nick at mail.com and test. Go. Oh, now worked. Excellent. Okay. I should be able to do session destroy. I believe that was set up. Didn't we set that up? Or we not set that up? Oh, we have to set it up. Okay. So uh, on a refresh, it should just let me log in. Good. Look at that. Okay. Uh, and then there's an auth check you'll see. So it should, if we start, stop the server and rerun again, it should invalidate the session. Or does it not? Oh, hold on. It's been a little while. Let's uh, let me think this through here. Source controllers auth. Oh, we never did. We never did create a destroy. Let's go ahead and do that now. So let's uh, create a new file. Uh, we'll say log out dot go. And oh, I gotta fix my editor. That's okay. Um, for now, we don't need this anymore, and we need to destroy the cookie. So actually, you know what? Let's see, token, login, user get token, set cookie. Um, okay, client, source, main, let's... Uh, and then we set the cookie. And how long do we val validate it for? Oh, we said it never expires. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine for now. We'll we'll, we'll do it. Um. We'll do we'll we'll do it server side. We'll do it client side. Excuse me. That's fine. Um. We don't need that anymore. Gosh, I need to fix my editor. Okay. Um, so router index, we need a session destroy, so const session destroy equals oh, hold on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, excuse me. Components uh, session destroy dot view. Okay, 
it's gonna yeah because there is no wall it, well we're gonna create that so relax um let's see path destroy component session destroy at the moment we don't want any metadata so auth we don't it doesn't require auth the session just actually it should require auth the session destroy huh so we'll say true for now no need to actually create that file session destroy dot view um that to name session destroy oh but by, by the way oh this is a sublime snippet I don't know if you're familiar with snippets um you can create snippets and do uh cool little like a you know block fill of a uh, uh, you know boilerplate code anyway okay so we'll say logging out okay there's that now we need to actually should should just run right yeah okay um and then uh, modules no let's see where we're gonna put this at dashboard do we ever i don't know if we, do we i don't know if we ever even created a we never created a like a um a nav bar or anything huh wow this video is uh we were not set up at all okay so we're reusing we're using bootstrap i believe right Oh, we're using UI kit. Okay, cool. Good to go. That's easy enough. So go to UI kit nav bar. That's convenient. Um, we'll just copy and paste this guy here for now. We'll say components new folder nav bar index dot view view component. We'll paste that in. It's not going to work because we are using pug. I do not like HTML at all. And this, oh, actually, delete, 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 dot. Delete, delete. Left parenthesis. Okay, well, we're going to change that mode here in just a second. Um. And dot delete. Oh, inserts on delete. And sorry, guys. I know this is boring. I'm almost almost got it here. Do and class. I thought we were all set up with nav bar. Just, that's probably why that gentleman was asking to create a new video. It's like, hey, <laughs> don't even have a nav bar set up. How do I log out? Okay. Um. So then we need to have. Let's see. We're just going to do this for now. To dashboard, and then we'll do the. You guys are probably screaming about that. Um, to the right, isn't it? To right, now mine is nav bar right. Okay, good. Nav bar right. Nav bar right, and let's separate this out a little bit because it's hard to for me. I, I like to separate it out. Like so, and then we'll say navbar session destroy and log out. There we go. And then, oh, this is going to be navbar, navbar. And then in the, um, in the app here, we're going to import navbar from at components nav bar nav bar index dot view com components nav bar and then I guess we'll just throw it in here I guess right nav bar oh what did I mess up okay go source um, consolidate nav bar index view Babel loader Oh, what's it complaining about? Um, oh, it's spacing. Oh, that drives me crazy. Okay. Um, there we go. There and there. There, there, there. What are you complaining about now?
line 7, so it's complaining about here. Hmm. That's... Oh! There we go. Aha! Okay. So, I have to... There we go, now we got... Uh, well, that's super ugly. Well, it, it works for now. Um, I'm not too concerned about being pretty. You guys can go uh, use whatever uh, CSS you want to use, fix it up, make it look nice. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about uh, functionality at the moment. Um, so, well, it's still... it's That's really ugly. Just fix it real quick. Do, 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 don't want... Oh, don't want... That. I believe that's the reason why. No. Oh my gosh, I made it even worse. Uh, okay, I'm not going to waste any time on that. Alright, so... Session destroy, we can test this real quick by running, uh, clicking on the, the logout button. It should, why is it not? Session index, um, view here, to session destroy, router, session destroy, hmm. Next to oh, oops. <laughs> All right. Um, I need to do router link. Router. Like I said, I've been in uh, Docker, Kubernetes, that sort of stuff, and uh, another other kind of private uh, work project. I don't think I can talk about. And I've been way out of the client side, service side stuff for months now. There we go. Logging out. Okay. So our session destroy is working. So now what we need to do is we need to invalidate our cookie. So there's different ways we can do this. Uh, probably the easiest way is just to grab the library itself and destroy it, which I believe I'm going to do. I think that's probably the easiest way. Um, if you're using this technique, then then uh, you want to probably uh, have a um, uh, a way to invalidate server side and client side. Um, so that way on the server you can invalidate people's sessions if you need to. Um, but here we're just going to um, we're just going to do it. Um, client side for now. Um, clients cookies. We're gonna import that from session up here, like so. And then we're gonna say, was it before? Is it before route? I believe it is. View JS view or before route. Um, our navigation guards. We are on two, right? I believe this is two. Yeah, navigation guards before no 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 we want per route guard before enter there we go okay Bef before enter and that it's gonna be two from next okay two from next okay so we're gonna return next session create and that should force it to route um, away once we log out now we need to um, is it going to do okay uh, this library here npm js cookie here let's see do, 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 do destroy remove there we go that's what we want to do. And then I believe the cookie name, what was the cookie name? Just, okay. Um, cookie destroy, console log, destroying cookie, console log, routing to login page. Okay. Let's go back to our client here. We'll just refresh and it should log out. Why did that not work? Console log. So before that must not be a right navigation guard. Um hmm. it's before route enter, maybe? That might be what it is. 
Console, session destroy. Ah, okay. So what we're gonna do is for now we're just gonna do this location dot reload true. Okay, and then we need to go into our router up here, our app up here, and say only show this nav bar v show if um, root dot authenticated. I don't know if we actually set that. We did. Okay, good. Okay, good. So, oh, that's my work email. Well. Don't spam me. Um, nick at mail.com and test. There we go. And log out. There we go. There you go, guys. All right. So that's a uh, login. And nick at, oh, darn it. Nick at mail.com test. There we go. Dashboard. Cool. Okay. So actually, you know what? I think I'm going to um, stop this, this video for now because it's. Um, I think it's a good stopping place for what we've just done. So uh, just to do a quick recap, we have uh, destroyed our cookie. We have uh, ensured our app is still running somewhat optimally. <laughs> Sorry for the little hiccups because well, it's been a while since I've gotten into this stuff. Um, and we also made sure to add a little more, more complexity to our uh, application by adding a nav bar um, and the ability to uh, log in, log out. Alright gentlemen, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.